Hello guys and welcome to App Screencast, Danny here. In today's video I've got a quick update and also a quick tip for Final Cut Pro 10. So a little while back I did quite a lot of Final Cut Pro 10 videos and they proved to be very popular. I'm not sure if that was just due to Final Cut being quite new. A lot of people um, were just interested at the time. But a lot of people did do give me a lot of positive comments and they really liked the series I did on Final Cut. So over the next few weeks I'm going to do quite a few videos on Final Cut Pro 10. A couple like quick tips and that and I may do some more advanced videos as well at a later date. So if you guys have got any questions on Final Cut Pro 10 or want me to cover anything then just leave a comment below. So in this video I just want to show you how to add a freeze frame. Um, you may know from a previous video I showed you how to hold a frame by basically clicking on your timeline, selecting a portion of the video and, and holding down shift and H and that would allow you to hold the frame. At the time I called it a freeze, a freeze frame. Um, and this was probably the only way you could actually add a freeze frame is by using this technique. Um, but in fact, Apple have updated Final Cut Pro 10 quite recently to allow you to just add a normal freeze frame, which you're probably more familiar with in other applications. And to do that is you just select where you want to add the freeze frame on your timeline. So for example, this section, all you do is hit Alt F and you've added a freeze frame as you can see here. Freeze frame just being an image, which you then can make as long or as short as you choose. So I find with the whole frame you do have a lot more control over what you can do but I find with the freeze frame I can be a lot more precise and it's a lot quicker to be able to add the freeze frame and I do find that more useful more often than not though the whole frame is always there if I want to do something a little bit more advanced. So just a quick tip for you there and a quick update that I will be doing more Final Cut Pro 10 videos in the next few weeks. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.